special edition of the Humidor Report. Justin here, and yes, I am still in the Humidor here in Cigar Club Southeast Texas, but we're giving you a slightly different angle on things today because we have a less than normal episode for you guys today. Uh, a lot of you people are probably very familiar at this point with Erola Cigars, and if you're not, you should. Uh, if you were here for our grand opening event, you'll remember Hector Laya. Hector's our rep from Arroyo CLE and Asylum. Uh, that was here for our grand opening event. You guys turned out in droves. We had one of the most spectacular events we've ever seen, be it here or in our Lake Charles store, uh, with you guys here for our grand opening. And we want to thank you for your support for that and let you know about a little something that's going on that is definitely outside the norm. Now, tomorrow night at our Lake Charles store, we're getting a very special meet and greet visit with Christian Erola himself. If you're not familiar with Christian, again, he goes back to the days of Camacho. Uh, about 10 years or so ago, uh, Christian and his father, Julio Eroa, sold Camacho to Davidoff. And since that time, they have launched their own companies now. Uh, Christian's company being Tabacadero Unidas, uh, which features the originally the CLE product, then the Eroa product, and also the Asylum 13 product that you see over here on the next shelf. Now, all of this product is, most, let's say correct, most of this product is grown and produced in Honduras. Some of the asylum stuff is actually being made in Nicaragua, but the core lines that come from Christians and Christian splitting is pretty implicitly Honduran. Uh, and it's all coming from the Arroyo family farmers, which grow some of the reputedly best Corojo known in the tobacco business. So tomorrow night at Cigar Club in Lake Charles, Christian Arroyo himself is going to be coming by for a little sit down meet and greet. And we do want to send an invitation for you guys to come over and check it out if you can make it to Lake Charles. Uh, there is uh, one little requirement just for the number of people that we're expecting to show up. Uh, there is a four pack of cigars from uh, Aroa CLE that uh, you'll have to purchase in order to participate in that. So do keep that in mind. But it's actually, it's a great deal on the cigars, whether or not we have the meet and greet. But that way we can kind of temper things and make sure that we don't have 8 million people trying to show up. Uh, we just want everybody to have a good amount amount of time one-on-one -on -one to ask their questions about his company, about growing tobacco, about blending, whatever's on your mind uh, in regards to cigars, tobacco, and anything relative here to Mr. Christian Eroa, CLE, and Eroa Cigars. We want you to have your chance to do that. Now, I know this is last minute. I know this event is taking place tomorrow, but fear not. We're working on something for you guys that we hope to be telling you about here soon, uh, that we'll be doing something a little special over here in the days to come. But we're gonna have to put you on hold on that for the time being, tell you to stay tuned in here to the Humidor Report, keep checking our Facebook page and be awaiting, hopefully, a very big announcement here in the days to come. So again, this is gonna be tomorrow night, Cigar Club in Lake Charles. Uh, I'll be there, we've got a lot of the, the, the Lake Charles crew is gonna be there, I for sure am driving over from Beaumont to participate and be a part of that event myself, so I do hope to see each and every one of you there. And next week we'll be back with a more normal episode of the Humidor Report, but I wanted to take a chance to let you guys know about this super, super special event taking place in Lake Charles tomorrow night. Uh, so if you can truck over, we hope to see you on that side of the Sabine, and we'll certainly see you back here next Wednesday at 3 p.m. with the next regular episode of the Humidor Report. So until that time, I'm Justin, and we'll see you at the club.